Hi friends, Jackie Los here, also known as Junk Gal. I'm preparing for an upcoming craft fair. And today I wanted to show you one of the projects that I am working on. It's an easy project and it only requires three pieces of wood. I'm going to show you how I built this adorable egg rack. It is so cute, so primitive looking. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it. Here I just grabbed a bunch of reclaimed wood from my wood pile and I trimmed the boards to four and a half inches wide. So what I need to do is rip my boards so that they're 14 inches exactly. And many of you might know this, but most of these uh, saws come with a guide. So what I did is I set this up so that I wouldn't have to measure each time. So I set it to 14 inches because that is where I need to have my length. So the boards are going to be 14 inches by four and a half inches. And I already cut all my boards to four and a half. But anyway, that's a tip. Um, and it's great because when I go to cut my board, I can just put it on here. And this will cut to 14 inches. So now I have a stack of boards and they're evenly cut at 14 inches long. Next, I'm going to be cutting the sides for the egg holder. The sides measure four inches by four and a half inches. And they'll just go like that. We will glue and then nail them in. But the first thing that we have to do is drill our holes in this board for our eggs. In order to get proper spacing on the egg holes that I needed to drill, I just made a template um, on my computer and made room for one and a half inch holes and then put a dot in the middle. And then what I will do next is I'm just going to go through with this compass tip. Just put a notch in each of the holes. Now I have all of my notches on my board. I don't know if you can see that or not. But now I can take it to my drill press. On my drill press, I have a spade drill bit and it's one and a half inches. And that's how we will drill all of the holes into our board. I did put a board on the bottom just for stability. Let's see how that works. So I'm lining it up with my first hole. Okay, I found my first hole. Okay, I've got my first hole. I've got everything lined up. I found my first hole and I did clamp it down. It's just a small clamp. The next step will be to drill our first hole. There's our hole. It's one and a half inches. Then the next hole that I will drill will be this next gouge that I put in there from the compass tip. 
So I'll go ahead and drill out all these holes and I'll be back to show you the next step. As you can see, we've got our 12 holes. And it's a very messy process. Yikes. So I will do some cleaning up and then the next step will be sanding it. Now, as you can see here, you've got some rough spots. So you may need to take your uh, Dremel and sand out those rough edges. And that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, I've already sanded it with um, 120 grit. Then after I get rid of the edges on the inside or those rough edges, then I'll go over it once more with a 220 grit sandpaper. The next step after we sanded it is to add our aged effect. I am just adding this aged glaze by Rust-Oleum. This is a brush on and wipe off product. So I'm just going to take this brush and we'll start. And this product lets the grain of the wood come through, but it also gives it that aged look as well. See how pretty that is? I love that. We are ready to attach the sides. I'm going to use a nail gun, but you could use screws as well if, if you would like. And then I always like to set it up and make sure that we're straight. How cute is that? The last step is to add some polycrylic. And I'll be back to show you that. I will be adding this polycrylic 
in the clear mat. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. And until the next video, God bless.